Hey guys, in this video, you're gonna learn how to create an AI animated avatar similar to what you're seeing here. And you're gonna be able to do all of this using free tools. Four. Just do me a favor and hit that like button before you go. So let's get started at midjourney.com. If you're not signed up for Midjourney, just click on join the beta and follow the instructions through the sign up process. Once you're in Midjourney, go into one of the newcomers rooms. Then type in backslash imagine and paste in the image prompt. And you can grab this image prompt in the description of this video. After you enter the prompt, you should get an image similar to this one. And if you're happy with this, you can go ahead and use it. But if you'd like to use something a little different, you can customize the image to your liking by changing a few key descriptors. For example, changing these parts here will give you different results. Just remember, you only have 25 free renders for the free version of Midjourney. Next, you can create different variations of an image with one of these buttons here. Or if you found an image that you like, you can upscale with one of these buttons and save it to your computer by right clicking and tapping on save. Next, you'll need a voiceover for your avatar. You can use text-to-speech software like Eleven Labs. This is what Eleven Labs text-to-speech software sounds like. I'm a little teapot short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. Come on, guys. I think that performance deserves at least a like. Or you can record your own voice like I did at the beginning of this video. Now to animate your image, go to studio.d-id.com. Click on Try Now or Free Trial. Then click on Create Video. And under Choose Presenter, click on Add. Next, select the mid-journey image that you created earlier. Now upload your voiceover on the right side of the screen. Once that's down uploading, click on Generate Video. And from here, you can download the video. All right, guys, if you'd like me to make a video on how I remove the background, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.